It has been a cloudy day for North Texas and wet for some out your door in Fort Worth. Very dark, ominous, gloomy skies. That's the picture in a lot of areas where uh, we've had some rain, especially west of the Metroplex, where we for many hours have had light to moderate rain moving through. That continues from Mineral Wells to just outside of Jacksboro up toward Bowie and Nakona. This activity moving off to the north and east, training one after the other. So localized spots could already have some water ponding up on the roads. We've had heavier precipitation and thunderstorms though to our east ahead of that large mass of rain. We've seen this into portions of Grayson and as well moving up some stronger weather into the Bonham area. This will continue to head into Oklahoma over the next half hour to 45 minutes. Point south, we've had spotty showers and storms. These continue heading up toward Athens, Gun Barrel City, Kaufman, just to name a few spots. These also moving quickly to the north and east. You'll expect a brief heavy downpour, some gusty winds, and a few lightning strikes out of this activity. At this point in time, our severe threat extremely low through tonight. Now, the question is just how much rain, how much more are we expecting? Will everyone receive it? Well, we're watching this front. It is now practically stationary off to our west. It's all about where this boundary goes. If it moves a little closer to us, I think we could have heavier rain into parts of the Metroplex. If it stays where it's at, the heaviest precipitation will be in our far western counties. You can tell where it's rained. Look at the temperatures, mid and upper 70s west to 90 in Dallas and Fort Worth, as well as in Terrell. 88 in Athens out ahead of the storm there. We'll keep coverage at 50%, mostly scattered in our eastern counties with higher coverage north and west until about midnight. And then as we go overnight, we'll see more wet weather develop, and that's when I think our flooding threat will be highest. Again, our flash flood watch includes Dallas, includes rather Denton and Tarrant counties and points westward. At least the first part of your Wednesday will still be wet, especially if you are around the Metroplex and north and west. It's uh, get it it's mainly north and west we've been seeing that that's what models are showing we're not going to see that trend uh, change through the overnight and models still really showing that i think we do have a better chance of some heavier rain late night hours uh, into the overnight some roads wet for your morning commute tomorrow and then as we go through your wednesday we will slowly quiet things down i think by the time you have that rush hour drive home we'll just be dealing with some clouds and a few peaks of sun now for rainfall, models not in agreement, go figure. But through tomorrow afternoon, we're averaging out about an inch and a quarter, an inch and a third around DFW. That's still a lot of rain when we really don't need it. So the big concern here will be flooding for the next 12 to 24 hours. Once this gets out of here starting Thursday, high pressure will build back in. And as that gets closer to us, it's all about the sunshine. It's all about the heat. You'll notice those temperatures starting to climb, especially this weekend and into early next week. Triple digits? I think so. Eventually, it's got to happen. So here's the forecast. We'll call it 50% coverage around the Metroplex tonight, higher north and west. First part of your Wednesday still wet and gloomy. And then there's that climb. Lots of sunshine for your weekend, upper 90s to 100 degrees early next week.